Investigators back on the Vallejo PD shooting of Sean Monterosa. I'm going to narrate this silent uh, body cam. Got it in slow motion. So here we go. Because they're not talking. They say they weren't saying a word. So, put the words to the video. So that, uh, with the flashbang in his hand, that's Wesley Pittman. He's getting ready to open the door. The driver's just about ready to turn on the emergency lights, flashing blue light and red. And uh, Tom's in the back seat, right in the middle. And they all have a real good view. If you look center, center screen right here, that's the uh, white Titan Nissan pickup. So here we go. As they get closer, Wesley cracks his door open. He's going to jump out and he's going to apprehend those guys in the truck. A little further, closes the door because they they started to flee. They took off. They go, well, we're going to get in a pursuit. But Ton told them, no, I got him. Just let's stop up ahead. Goes a little further. He opens his door. They come to a slow stop. Ton's already got his rifle aiming. He's going to stop that pickup truck. But the guys had fled. He had a perfect view. Although he said on record that he didn't he didn't see him. He didn't know. He didn't know if they moved or not. <laughs> he had a perfect view, just like Wesley did and the driver did. They both stop a moment. They paused right there. Wesley did. The driver's looking, and Ton opens fire on that fleeing pickup. The only thing he didn't see was Sean Monterosa. Not facing him, turned away. One bullet to the head killed him instantly. AR-15 right through the brain. He didn't, feel, he didn't feel nothing. Didn't know what happened. Just left this planet in a hurry. But uh, these officers, they all lied about what happened. They said he was an imminent threat. He pointed a gun at us. He pointed a gun at us, he said. Not true. None of that's true. Even the captain, as we go forward, the black car takes off. The captain rams them. I mean, you could actually see the car lift. See, the captain wasn't facing that direction at all. He uh, closed the gap, hit him pretty hard to where, to where he rammed him real hard to where down the side of the vehicle to where the airbag deployed on his vehicle. Then he said that they rammed him. Now you try to stop them from going, from fleeing. <laughs> Maybe that's why he he retired. Anyway, the investigator. Justice for Sean Monterosa.